What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix Rust is having servers not showing or disconnected or timed out error or Steam authentication failed invalid or EAC authentication on a VC and how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into this step. So the first one is all about we need to launch the game from the Steam, not from the shortcut or from the game installation directory. I'm having the shortcut here, so I should not be launching the game from here. Me that I'm not launching the game from the game directory. I have to launch it from the Steam and I have to check. Next run, we need to run the Steam as an administrator. So just go over here, search for the Steam. And you can see there is an option called Steam as run as administrator and go for yes. Then you have to check with the game whether the issue is solved or not. Still, if you're having the trouble, then if you're having the network connection or disconnected, whatever the error that you're facing, keep on retrying one by one. You have to try it for multiple times and you have to check. Maybe the simple connection error can cause this, so you can retry and you have to check as well. Next one, we need to start and restart the EC and the cheat service. So we need to go over here, search for the services, you have to click on the service. Now from here, if you check over here at the top, if you scroll down and navigate to E, now we can see we have EC and the cheat and also we are having the EC and the cheat. If you find the EC and the cheat here, as you can see EC and the cheat, so you have to right click on this one. Now from here, once you right click on this one, go to the properties. Make sure it is set into automatic. If the service status is stopped, we have to start that. Once you start, just go for OK and you have to right click on this one. Go for uh, restart, you have to start once again. Once you start with this, you have to check with the game whether the issue is solved or not. That might help in some cases. Next one, if you turn on any kind of VPN, you have to turn, turn it off. So just go to the settings, click on the settings. Now from here, navigate to the network and internet. Over here, navigate to the VPN. So if any VPN is connected, you have to turn off every whatever the VPN that is connected. Then you have to check. Next up is all about, we need to switch to a different network. As you can see, I'm already connected to a Wi-Fi. So what I need to do is I have to connect to any other Wi-Fi over here. What I have to check because if the connection errors is happening for this particular Wi-Fi, I'll be having a lot of trouble. So I should try to connect to any other Wi-Fi as well. Next one is all about we should use Ethernet connections. If you're having the Wi-Fi, just connect directly to the Wi-Fi from there using a keyboard to your PC or laptop. Then you have to check. This issue that is happening for the rest of servers right now is because of the connection error. So this might be from our end as well as from their end. So we have to try one by one and we have to check. Make sure and make sure the date, time, everything is correct. So just go to the settings. Now from here, navigate to the time and language. Go to date and time. Make sure the time zone automatically is turned it on. Time automatically is turned it off. And also make sure the show, the time, date and time, everything should be turned it off. And also if you're having the option, you can just click on C now, which will take a little bit of time. And that is also very important. Now, after trying all these things, we need to try a few commands in the CMB. So I'll be providing a link in the description. We have to copy these commands one by one. So copy this command. That is the first one, IP cough, flash DNS, so go to CMB. Make sure that you run it as an administrator, go for yes. Paste the command, press enter. Now go to the next one that is IP configure use. Copy this, paste it, press enter. Make sure you need to go for IP configure new. Copy this, paste it, press enter. Now we need to go for the next one that is NFTC reset. You have to go over here, press enter. Now we need to go for IP reset, copy this, and we have to paste it, press enter. Now we have to try the Google DNS server should be done. So let me close this and you have to do a restart and you have to check. Now go to the control panel. You have to go over here on the network and sharing center. Now go to the change adapter settings. Now from select the Wi-Fi that is connected, right click and go to the properties. Now from here, you have to select the internet protocol version 4, you have to put a check. And if the internet protocol version 6 is checked, you have to uncheck it and select this one and go to the properties. Now, give the value for the use following name, so it should be 8, 8, 8, and 8. It should be 8, 8, 4, and 4. Then you have to check whether the issue is solved or not. Still, if you're having the trouble, then try the value to 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. That is also very important. If it's not working with this particular DNS server value, then go to the properties. Change all these values. We have to change all these values over here. Change these values one by one. Then go for one, 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 one. Then we have to go for the next one. Values one. Have to go for one, zero, 
zero and one now just go for okay and you have to close it and you have to check that might work in some cases as well then after try with the stay if you have the trouble try updating your windows just go to the windows update and just update your windows if you're having any pending update just make sure the update is very important and the last and the least we need to verify the game file so just go over here right click and go to the properties now if you may navigate to install and file and just verify the game file once the pilots are verified you have to check and this is what we have to do and i took this video self-free that's it bye bye